Here's, here's this one second of pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think it's the perfect size and I'm not just saying that. We are back at our friends and producers house, the Alvarez's. They recently renovated this home. We've already worked on the big island for their kitchen and now we are challenged to fill their big, empty, boring dining room space. And we love pedestal dining tables, but those legs can be pretty expensive. We have a solution for that. With just some framing lumber and a whole lot of trim, we are going to build a farmhouse pedestal dining table for under $150 in just a few hours of work. Here's all you need to build this table. Nine two by six by eight boards, three two by eight by eight boards, one one by eight by six board, and a whole lot of trim. We've got top paint for the base. It comes in lots of different colors and we're gonna be staining the top. So the very first step of this table is going to be to start assembling the legs. These are gonna be two identical legs. So we'll walk you through the first one. This is inexpensive framing lumber that we're using. These are two by eights and we've actually ripped those down to seven inches. And then we're also using two by sixes. Now, for the legs, for this part, we have not ripped down these two by sixes because nobody's gonna see them. We're gonna cover them up in a next step. Okay. So, we're basically going to be building an eye, two eyes, and um, the letter I, the letter not I, the not eyeballs. <laughs> okay, so the first piece is a two by eight board that we've ripped down to seven inches, and we are putting a smaller board on top of it. Now, keep in mind, you can download and print the free plans on our website, and you don't have to remember all these numbers we're throwing at you. So, we're adding a big glob of wood glue to the bottom piece. And we are lining this up on top of this one right here. And I've already marked center of these boards because you want them to line up center with each other. And we are going to attach these using our driver and two and a half inch back screws. And Ash is going to do the honors. Now the first one, we're just going to go right in the center and straight down. And I'll help her shanty clamp. <laughs> just like that, friend. Or not. <laughs> Awesome. Now, what we'll do is we'll flip this over and we'll put two or three more in here to hold those really good and tight together. You can use a drill if you don't have a driver, but a driver makes it so much faster. I always feel powerful when I use my driver. I feel yeah. strong. It doesn't work for you. It's like the elbow. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we have our first, we have our first piece done. Push that out of the way and we're going to do the exact same thing to our next piece. One of our favorite things about this table design is hard to What? <laughs> so one of the coolest things about this table design is going to be the legs. And when we build it now, it's not going to look so hot, but when we add the trim, it's going to look like a thick, chunky leg that a lot of times are super expensive or hard to find, and we have a little trick for that. Chunky legs are hot. <laughs> That's good news. Now that we've got the top and the bottom built for each base, we're going to attach the leg pieces. These are two by sixes that we have drilled one and a half inch pocket holes into the ends of each one. And we're gonna start with the center one and attach it to the base with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. We have our first one lined up center. Now it's easy because we're just gonna add two more. And I'm gonna add a glob of wood glue again. I'm also gonna go up and down this leg. That's why we like the glue bot, watch this. We're gonna put a link in the description box, but look at that. Straight up and down. I just squeeze a little bit and the glue comes out. Love it. I think that's one of my, our favorite finds that we yep. made on Amazon. Hey Ash, I just thought about something. I can be attaching this side while you attach this side. It's the exact same, but it goes on gotcha. this side over here. Okay. So as you can see, what we're doing is we're basically sandwiching that first board that we attached with two more boards. And this table is not gonna move once we have it done. It's gonna be super secure. And you don't have to worry about a little separation up here. We're actually about to do some wood screws this direction too, running sideways, but it'll squeeze it all together also. Look at that, bada bing. Okay, so now I'm using those same two and a half inch spec screws and I'm going through the side piece and into that middle one. Just like that. <laughs> so good. Okay, so at this point we have one foot attached, we have our leg built and sturdy, and now we're gonna add that top piece 
Now we are attaching what we just built to our other, I guess you would call that a foot piece. And we are attaching them using the two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Again, we're lining that, that middle board up center so everything's nice and square. And we're gonna attach those using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Okay, we've got this leg done. Now watch how fast we can build the second one. right <laughs> so the next step is going to be to trim out those legs that we just attached and there's a ton of trim on this part and actually this is also the fun part you can do any style of trim you want you can even just wrap it in straight boards and then you have a whole different look so what we did to save time because all of these cuts are going to be the same size we made two guides we made a long cut guide and a shortcut guide so for the, the place of using a tape measure. That's right. That way you're not pulling out your tape measure every single time. This is the short side width right here. So that's going to be my short point to short point cut on all my trim for that side. And then the same over here on the long side. That's going to be our short point to short point measurement for our trim. So we wouldn't get mixed up. We also numbered all these to keep them all together. And we're we ready. We wouldn't want to get the wood <laughs> mixed up. She sat and planned that one for a long I time, did. I guarantee you. So here's one, we're working our way down. So for one, you can see here's our long measurement. Now I, with trim, it's always a good idea to dry fit everything. So we have our first layer right here, and we want to make sure it nice. all fits pretty good. And the great, the other great thing about this table is we're going to be painting this base with a really cool chalk paint. So some of these imperfections, if there are any cracks and stuff, it's all going to be hidden under that paint. And it's and just great wood news. Filler. And all yeah. the stuff. So we're using our glue bots again to attach these. So we are adding pin nails to this trim to attach it to the leg. And what's great about this tool is you cannot even see the nails in that wood. No nail holes to fill. First piece of trim is done, now we're going for number two. And guys, remember, this is the fun part because you can do whatever design you want to get the look that you love. Wait, how did you decide on this order of trim? <sighs> well, I just kind of laid it on the ground and tried to figure out what looked the best. And um, I also know that the owner has a critical eye, so I was trying to please her. See how it's shaping up? Big old chunky legs. That's uh, first two are done. Moving on to the third. And this is actually just um, quarter inch board that we're gonna give it some length with. Okay, so you can see at this point, we have a gap up here, and we are gonna cut one more piece of trim to fill that space, and then we've got this first leg all finished. All right, Ash, I cut these pieces to fit, and this is just one inch little lattice trim, and we're gonna go along the top and just cover up the rest of it. All right, last piece. All right, and we just decided that we're gonna go ahead and add that lattice to the very bottom so that it's kind of matchy-matchy from the top and the bottom. That's what's so cool about this project is you can do whatever you want. Okay, all the trim on this leg is done. Now it's time to do the exact same thing on the other leg. All right. Trim is done on both legs, now we get to attach the runners. Okay, now the runners are two by six boards. Our top runner, we did not rip down because you will not see it. And then our bottom runner, we did rip down and it's ripped to five inches. And we're attaching these with two and a half inch pocket hole screws through the one and a half inch pocket holes. But I have to go get the runners now. We have center marked on this already and I'm gonna add a little bit of wood glue to the end of it. Line it up center. Ash will attach that with the two and a half inch pocket hole screws. We'll attach this other side the same way. We make sure it's center. Now we're going to attach our bottom runner. 
the great part about this is that I have my sister here to help me attach this. So she's added glue, I'll hold it in place while she lines up that first pocket hole screw. Done, sweet, it's foot pad time. We're gonna put some wood glue down and then we're going to lay the foot pad on the bottom of the base so that it's flush on the edge. And we're going to use back screws. These are one and a quarter inch wood screws and we're just gonna screw it into the bottom of the table. I am finishing up this last foot pad while Whitney's on Instagram. What do you expect here, guys? Get work done. We're giving you little sneaky peeks. Yes, stories. Okay, the base is totally done. Now it's time to plank the top and then we are done. Yeah! So these are two by six boards that we have gone and ripped down to five inches. How do you do that? You go watch our YouTube video where we show you how. We have added one and a half inch pocket holes to one side of each of these boards except for one. And that one we're gonna put on the end. And we've also added pocket holes on each end and those will be used to attach our breadboards here after we get the top planked. All right, now we are planking the tabletop planks together and we are using two and a half inch pocket hole screws and we drilled one and a half inch pocket holes into each board. We're trying to save the floor and use the tarp, but the pocket hole screws are pulling the planks together so hard that it's sucking up the tarp inside of our planks. We're going to get the tarp out and we are gonna bring saw horses in. All right, we've got our saw horses now and we've put the planks on top, so we're going to replank everything and not have the tarp sucked in. All right, we are finishing up these planks, and once we get a few more pocket hole screws in, then we will add our breadboards, and we will be finished. So we're clamping the breadboard right now, but I have a mint in my mouth, so it's hard to talk. I am attaching the breadboard to the planks with two and a half inch pocket hole screws, and we're just clamping it so that we can hold it because we don't have a tabletop. Okay, the entire top is planked. Our base is done, so we're gonna go get the base and we're gonna put this bad boy together. Here is the moment of truth. This is always our favorite part, putting the tabletop on the, like the table. Like crown, the crowning moment. Yes! Oh, it's beautiful! I love it. All right, guys, we built this farmhouse pedestal dining table for under $150 with just a few hours of work. And now we're going to sand it down, we're going to chalk paint the base, and we're gonna stain the tabletop, and then all we have to do is use a few, few spack screws underneath this runner and into the tabletop, and we're done. And it's ready for dinner. And there it is. We've got the base chalk painted, we've got the top stained, we've got a beautiful new light fixture in. And we have transformed this blank, boring space into a beautiful farmhouse chic dining room, and we cannot wait for them to see it. Time to go to the next room. We, we've got chalk paste for the... <laughs> All right, we've got our sore... Oh my gosh. Sore horses? There it is. We've got the chalk... <laughs> there it is. We... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I'm still laughing. Go. Holy crap! Look at this thing. Okay.